Good morning. Good morning to my friends here in upstate New York and the rolling hills, those around the country and especially those around the world. I'm here in my area, not far from my hometown in Trenton Falls, Trenton, New York. It's on the map. You can look it up. And this, this, this here, this rock, well, the rock doesn't mean much, but this plaque means a lot. Now, I'll read it to you for those who can't read it. It says, in commemoration of the visit of the Secretary of State, William H. Seward. You know, Seward was uh, uh, Secretary of State under Abraham Lincoln. And the diplomats of seven nations to Moore's Hotel. There used to be a hotel here, a famous hotel years ago during that period. August 18th, 1863. These representatives here agreed to advise their countries against, against reconciliation of the Confederacy, a decision which hastened the end of the war between the states. They don't, they don't even, uh, it's not, it's not the, uh, mentioned as a civil war, it's a war between the states. And it says here, erected by the Central New York Power Corporation on August 18th, 1938. Now, I'm losing my mic. Now, this, the importance of this is, not, is the fact that what happened here and what is a disgrace and a shame is that this whole area is owned and operated by the electric company of New York State, which happens to be at this moment National Grid, formerly uh, Niagara Mohawk, formerly some other company. And these people, this is, this is a, a national, should be a national landmark, it is. And it's open three days a year in the spring, three days a year in the fall. And if these uh, politicians have any brains at all, they should, they should take this land back from the power company and open this to residents of this area, residents of the, the whole country, and the people around the world want to come and see this. Oh, sure, it's nothing fancy. It's the idea of what happened here. It hastened the end of the Civil War. And it, this, the hotel is no longer here. It burnt down. I'm not sure when. You can check the records when it burnt down. But the fact that we, and there's a sign here, this is not a state park. This is not a federal park. It's not a county park. We are here at the guests, and I'm quoting now, at the guests of the electric company, of the electric company. That's a joke. The electric company should allow us to see our history, our history. This is our history, all Americans. We, this is ours. It's not the electric companies. Yeah, they make electricity here, a little bit of electricity from the, the hydropower from a, uh, the stream here. This little bit of electricity allows them to take, uh, take all of this, to keep this, to keep this on their property. That's nonsense. So currently our state senator is Joe Griffo. Joe Griffo, wake up. And uh, Assemblyman uh, uh, Buttonshaw, who represents this area, uh, I believe she represents this area. The, the, the gerrymandering that went on, who knows who represents what. But uh, this area uh, is represented. And those representatives, whoever they may be, should do something about this. Get this back in our hands. So um, thank you very much, and uh, I appreciate you all for watching. Leave a comment if you would, please, if you would. Any comment, good, bad, or indifferent. And uh, I'll uh, give a shout out here to Mark W., who is a history buff, um, Joey Eyes, who's a comments always on these videos, uh, Rex down in Dallas, Texas, and a few others around the world that always leave comments on my videos. So thank you all very much for watching, and uh, pass this on to your friends if you would. Thank you.